Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. I certainly appreciate it. Uh, today's beer comes from Dangerous Man Brewing. Uh, these guys are out in Minnesota. This is their peanut butter porter, and look at the size of this can. This is their crowler. Uh, not a growler, but a crowler. A great big, I'm not sure exactly how much it is, maybe a 32 ounce, I'm not sure. But the big thing, they got a little calendar on the back. It said this was canned on February the 21st. And both of it is hand marked with a little felt tip marker on the back. So somebody has done this on each can that come off of, uh, off of there. Or if they had it filled and sent it to me specially. But they are dating it and they are marking it as they fill them. A nice uh, stick on wrap around the label. Uh... And other than that, it says on that same label, 5.6%. So it's not a big porter. Something you could share. Uh, I may even have it for breakfast uh, if you're not going to work on the weekend or whatever. Uh, but peanut butter porter. I want to have big peanut butter notes. Uh, maybe a little bit of chocolate in there. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to get into. I've not had anything from this brewery. And this was sent to me by Maggie and Mel. And they write, here is Dangerous Man Peanut Butter Porter, brewed, canned on February 21st of 2018. These guys do not distribute it. Uh, so you have to get their beers at the brew pub or the brewery where they do it. So this porter is easily the most popular beer they brew, maybe the most celebrated in Minneapolis. That sells a lot. He's then they in the... Uh, they write, uh, it is my favorite porter. I don't know if that's Maggie's. Probably Maggie's favorite porter. A lot of the ladies like these sweeter beers or peanut butter chocolatey type beers. Uh, I like them too. I don't want to drink them every day. But I do like that Reese Cup or peanut butter-esque uh, flavor. I'm not, I've never brewed with uh, a beer like this. I've not brewed anything with peanut butter. Uh, I have brewed some chocolate stouts before, but... Uh, says that they're going to send me another one soon. Cheers, Maggie and Mel. Well, Maggie and Mel, thanks a bunch for, for sending this to me. I do appreciate it. Uh, like I said, uh, I'm not in Minneapolis. I'm here in Virginia, and if they don't distribute it, uh, I have to rely on folks like yourself to send me these wonderful beers uh, to try. And so uh, she, uh, it comes with high acclaim from, uh, from Maggie and Mel here. So, so I hope it's going to be very, very tasty. Like I said, not a big beer. Let's run over to Untapped and see what they have it at. Uh, they have it at 5.3% and 29 IBUs. Very low IBUs. Should be nice and sweet. Very easy drinking. Not bitter at all. And uh, the commercial description says peanut butter, chocolate, hints of coffee, and toast. So uh, that is it. It is time. Let's pop the top on this thing. Guys, we're coming, getting close to the beer review 3000. Hope to have something special to, to do for that review. It's trying to come out of the can. That's on my hair. It's on the laptop here. Spewed out just a little bit. Nothing too, nothing too bad. All right, let's get it into the glass. It's almost impossible to try to pour one of these without, especially in these big crowlers. You can already see we're getting a big, and it's dripping all over the place. running down the side that's the only plus i got about these great big cans they tend to go all over the place trying to pour them and i didn't get a chance to tell you i'll do that here in just a second guys very carbonated it is very carbonated 
Food pairings, cuisine is barbecue cheese with buttery brie, gouda, havarti, swiss, general chocolate, dessert, beef is smoked meat and grilled meat, glass wire to pint, becker on it, tumbler, mug, sign, sedal, I'm using my favorite tulip glass, not recommended for extended summerings. Low ABV porter. Uh, looks like a stout in the glass, it's very, very dark. Well, I'm not getting any of the light like I normally would from a low ABV porter down here. It looks like a stout, they could probably call it a stout. Very dark. Let's get it to the nose. Oh yeah. Big time peanut butter. I am getting some chocolate. Roasted malt. Oh, smells like a Reese cup on the nose. It really does. Outstanding. It's unbelievable that they can they can do that. Like I said, I've never brewed anything like this before, but definitely getting the peanut butter and the chocolate. Outstanding. Wonderful aroma. Wow. Definitely, I would consider this a dessert beer. Have with a some kind of peanut butter or chocolate dish after dinner. Or maybe this is your dessert. Wow. <laughs> Outstanding aroma. It's unbelievable when I smell these peanut butter beers. It's got that much peanut butter in it. Mm, it's time. My sweet tooth is saying, do it. <laughs> if I had a sweet tooth. <laughs> All right, guys. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Mel. Cheers, Maggie. Mm, that's some aroma. Yep. To me, guys, it tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup. Or maybe one of those little Debbie nutty bars that has a chocolate and a peanut butter in it. Wow. Very well done. It's exactly what they say it is on the can. Peanut butter and chocolate. That's what's that's peanut butter and chocolate are off the chain, guys. Wow, unbelievable, super impressive. That is a great dessert beer. That is outstanding, guys. Very impressive. Well, let me sip on this for a little bit and see what we end up with. Very nice beer. I would probably buy this beer if I could get it here. All right, guys, I got a little bit left here. Didn't leave a lot of lacing on the glass or anything like that, but it is what they say it is. It is a peanut butter porter slash stout. It looks more like a stout in a glass than it does a porter. It's very, very dark, like a stout. Uh, and they can call it whatever they want to. They could have called it a stout if they chose to, but they choose not to. They call it a porter. Uh, a lot of times the porters will be not quite as pitch black as this one is, but sometimes I've had I've had stouts that have a little bit of red ribbiness down in the thin part of the glass down here. So it's up to the brewery to call it whatever they want to call it. I find this exactly what they say it is, guys. It's very very tasty. It's a very nice dessert beer. Not something I would want to drink all the time, but it is a nice change up from a typical porter or stout. With the peanut butter flavor, it reminds me very much of some of the other breweries that do these uh, style of beer. The uh, Duclaw uh, does a peanut butter uh, version of this beer, and uh, Terrapin does it. Uh, there are probably several other different breweries that do it. Uh, uh, I'm sure it's a messy process to brew a beer with peanut butter. <laughs> uh, but it is what it is, so, and it is very, very tasty, guys. I found it very enjoyable, a nice change up, and I do appreciate uh, Maggie and Mel uh, sending this to me. It is an awesome beer. But exactly what they say it is. I mean, if, uh, if you don't like peanut butter or, or don't want that in your beer, you're probably not going to like that. But if you, if you do, uh, you'll find this very, very tasty, just like the Terrapin. Uh, I think it's Liquid Bliss. And the Duclaw uh, Sweet Baby Jesus, uh, very similar to what those guys are producing in a peanut butter style beer. Final chug. Mm. 
the other half got a glass out of this and she liked it. Like I said, not something I'd want to drink all the time, but a nice change up uh, uh, from your typical stouts. And being a low ABV at uh, uh, in the five percent range, uh, something you could even have for breakfast or or even have uh, uh, after dinner uh, with your dessert or as your dessert, and not be too inebriated after you had it. So, uh, very nice, very well done, guys. To me, this is an A beer. That's where I'm going to put it. Uh, Ninety five, right down the middle of the A A range, and I do appreciate him. Uh, uh, putting the date uh, that it was uh, put in this can uh, right on the back and it, you know and they probably do that as they fill these uh, I don't think they produce these and have them sitting around I mean if you come in and you want a crawler they'll fill it and date it uh, you know accordingly so uh, very nice very very nice beer let's run over to beer advocate and they say 4.17 out of 5 that's their a minus range I think it's, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it tastes exactly what they say it's supposed to taste like. Over to Untapped, they have it at 4.18. That's also in their A- minus range. I think it's a little better than A-. minus. I mean, if I wasn't getting the peanut butter or the chocolate, uh, I would have a problem with that. Uh, but it, I am. I am getting it. And if you say, oh my God, that's a 10 berry, I wouldn't argue with that either. For what it says it is, it tastes exactly like they say it should taste. So, that's a very impressive beer to me, guys. Um, but the only drawback to that is I wouldn't want to drink this every day. Uh, this is an occasional beer to me. Uh, something uh, you would have occasionally and maybe even with your dessert or as a dessert. So, that's where we're going to leave it. If you've had this one from uh, Dangerous Man Brewing, this is their peanut butter porter. Let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.